All right, something fancy on the screen. What is it? People realize, some people probably know this logo. So we wanted to create something fancy for this demo. Uh, we created four Docker instances. Uh, it's a Docker cluster running a web application. And it's getting hit by real-time traffic from all over the world. Uh, and these instances right now are configured to run four. If, if one instance goes down for whatever reason, we consider the, uh, the complete node uh, complete cluster to be unhealthy. So why don't we go ahead and remove one instance manually. All right, so then one of the node got removed. You saw, now you can see only three fishes floating around, getting hit, but that's not fun. Let's do something fun. We connected that to Amazon Echo on my right side. Uh, and not only connected that to Amazon Echo to provide us the status of what's going on, but also bring up an instance for us. So let me go ahead and ask Echo what's going on. So, Alexa, ask Code Factory the status of my Docker cluster. The cluster is unhealthy with three active nodes. A Jira issue demo 104 is associated to this problem. So, one thing which I did not tell you was a surprise that it also is connected to Jira, and it created Jira issue demo 104. Let's go look at it, what exactly is in demo 104. This, one, this screen looks familiar. Uh, since everything is coordinated by Code Factory, you can see the reporter of this issue is Code Factory. It's not assigned yet, it was created a minute ago when it detected that the instance went down. It also took the logs from Docker, posted that as a description. In my summary, I have time when the node got removed from my cluster and all that good stuff. So at this point, if I'm a low performing software team, what will I do? All my service desk people will start running start calling people, oh, node is down. But we don't want to do that. We want to do something fancy. Alexa, ask Code Factory to add a node to the Docker cluster. New node has been added to the cluster and issue demo 104 has been resolved in Jira. My issue is resolved. Nobody had to wake up at night and everything works. So uh, if anybody has a question on how this thing works, I'd like to invite CTO of AdTech, Himanshu, so he can go in the details of what we were doing, how we were doing it and how you can do the same thing. So, uh, hope everyone liked the demo. Um, so the architecture was pretty simple overall. Um, we had a, pro a service running in AWS Lambda, which works to provide the custom skill to Alexa, um, and that's how the voice commands work. 
Um, you don't need to use Lambda if you want to build custom integrations with Alexa, but that's something Amazon naturally recommends, and it's more convenient um, to use um, AWS Lambda to build your custom Alexa integrations. Um, for the Docker cluster itself, we are using Docker Swarm, and we built a custom Python uh, REST API that controls the Docker Swarm. And as for the visualization, we're using a custom library on top of uh, d3.js. So all of these three parts come together to uh, basically uh, you know, have this demo. So, so in short, that's how the demo works. Uh, afterwards, if you want more details or want to chat about something else as well, you know, we'll be glad to talk to you. Thank you. So not only this, we also created some more commands. And if anybody wants to play around with Alexa, Alexa, stop. If anybody wants to play around with, I won't call her name again. Uh, you can do that. We have a series of commands. You can ask her questions. She will answer you. You can ask her, what was the last comment on my Jira issue number this? And she'll read out the whole comment to you. You can tell her to create an issue. <laughs> you can tell her to resolve an issue. You can add notes. You can remove notes. Uh, and if somebody wants to see how to do it, uh, we have our engineers who can also show you how they did that. Thank you.